What's up, y'all? Dano here. We're in Alabama, out here with Alabama Andy. It's going to be a great day. We're heading out to the Talladega short track. We're going to get the Dano's car out there on the track. And uh, so stay tuned. I just want to show you something real quick. We're getting everything loaded up, getting ready to head out that way. But just wanted to show you something real quick, what happens when you're in Alabama and you're getting ready to go race. Just hang your suit up off the front porch and let everybody know you're racing today. What's up y'all, Dano here, here with my new friend, Jason Morris, number 10, 10 to win. We're out here in Alabama, we're going to the Talladega Short Track, but what I, I've never experienced this before. Here we are, Dano sponsoring a car, y'all met Bama Andy, he's the one holding the camera right now, but here we are. All I wanted to do is really explain to you guys, and let Jason explain to you the aerodynamics, because when you look at this car and you see all these funny shapes, how everything, you know, each side, nothing's the same, everything, it's all aerodynamics. So I'm gonna kind of let Jason take over and just kind of show you, because this, this this car only takes left turns. So it's go around and around and around. So everything is designed to be as fast as possible. So I'll let him kind of explain to you and uh, we'll show you what's up with this. First off, we want to say hi to everybody. Uh, we want to thank Dano for coming on board this year with his partnership with us. We want to thank Bama Andy for reaching out to him. Appreciate everybody. It takes a team to do this. Uh, a little bit about the car. We got uh, on the front end, as you can see, the right front's raised because the track is banked. When you go in the corner, you want to want the front end to seal off, what we call it. So it's going to get over on the right front and that whole piece will be even there. Now, like these fender floppers, this is the new style nose piece. This, the left front is taller here. If you want that to catch the air, versus the right front is completely flat. You just want the air to go straight by it. Uh, the body here, everything helps with aerodynamics. Uh, Check this out, Andy, from back here. Okay, on the left front right here, you want it kind of tucks in, and the left rear in front of the tire, you want it out. And then you want the quarter panel coming in so that the air will come around the car and get by. Over, over on the right side, we've got the, uh, contour of the body comes down and out and everything's pushed out so that it's used like the air is pushing against the car. You got the spoiler here when it comes off the nose piece it comes across the deck and hits the spoiler holds the rear of the car down. This is adjustable we can raise it up or let it back depending on what the race car is doing. Check it out. Right here where you can adjust it and then put the spoiler up and down I guess a little bit more airflow go. Yeah so what's these what's the caps on the wheels for? That is called a mud cover. It keeps the mud out of the wheels. And we actually put in a thing called a mud plug. So you grab a mud plug up there, please. We put in a mud plug, so if we're running a harder tire, you want it to build heat faster than you do with a soft tire. A soft tire, you want the heat to get gone because it'll get hot and it'll burn them up. A harder tire, well, it takes longer to get it hot. So we put a, a mud plug you get one right here. This is a mud plug. It's nothing but a four inch piece of foam. And that's inside of there? Yeah, we take the cover off, we stick this up in there. A lot of people um, use them to keep mud out of their wheels. Mm. And some of the bigger guys, late model guys, they use them to get heat in their tires. So mm. that's what that's used for. Mm. Pretty cool. Look at this right here, Andy. Look how the, uh, like he was saying before, how this, what do you call it? It's called a, a fender flopper or a nose flare. But it's totally different than the one on the other side. Let's show them these tires real quick. All right, this tire right here is a soft tire. 
called a 1350 or a D21. And uh, this is a front tire. You can tell by the direction of the pattern on them. Mm -hmm. They're cross cut this way. Compared to, compared to a rear tire, which is cut straight across. So this is your front tire, that's your rear tire. This is a hard tire. This is a 55 or a 1600. Stick your fingernails in there. Stick your fingernails in there. This one. Oh yeah, much softer. This one is almost like a sponge. Yeah. This one is an actual 1600 and this one's a 55. This one's a little better tire compound, the rubber and everything in it. This is a straight tire, straight 55. And you were telling me last night that these don't have the, the inner like wiring or like the tire on my truck. It's just straight rubber, like I can stick a screwdriver straight to it. These do not have any belting in them at all. No belt. Tell them about the little socks right there. Go explain that tire. Let me grab a tire. You see how all these little lines are cut in here? These little ones here. Yep, that's called sopping. When you do that, and it cuts these little cross patches, uh, you know, open, and it lets the tire get heat quicker than this one would. Which, it comes like that, or you all put those you know, in there? You have to do it. You have to do it, really. Yeah, you take a, a, a tool that, you know, covers every one of these, and push it across there. Hmm. Here's one we've cut apart. It's nothing but a piece of rubber. It's got a couple, it's got one layer of ply in it. It's a one ply, and then it's got a piece of tread on it. So you can just take this and just, I don't know, there's nothing in it. And what do you say you get like two, maybe three races out of a set of tires? Maybe. Uh, yeah. The big guys that do this every day that we watch on TV, the Lucas Oil guys, <laughs> or the World of Outlaws, every time their car goes on a racetrack, they got a brand new set of tires. And what did they call those? I said yesterday, I said, I always thought a new set of tires was called Snickers, like a candy bar. And they're called, hang on, hang on. <laughs> they're called stickers. Yeah, stickers because they got a new sticker on them. Or maybe because they stick to the, 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 the dirt better, I don't know. But that's why it's called stickers because it's got a new sticker on them. I was Sticker's down in Talladega with a buddy of mine and he, he ran a super late model and he ran a full picture on a brand new tire. And when he came in, the right rear was completely split. I mean, Gone. split. Right. And, it was, and it was a 55, which is a hard tire. And I couldn't believe it. That's the first time I ever seen one. And I've seen, I've seen the sidewalls bubble up and stuff like that. You know, from getting a lot. Yeah. Like running off of the tire. That, that was a 70, wasn't it? Yeah. And, and that was probably the hardest compound you can get. That's why I don't know how soft this is. Oh yeah. They got to stick to that dirt real good. I mean, I could literally like just start picking that apart with my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So uh, we'll see you at the track. I'll show you where the fuel goes. Right there. They got a little note on there. <laughs> what kind of fuel you say goes in there? Uh, 110 octane. 110 octane. Get you some of that. I went to the gas station today because I was like, didn't he say 110? I'm looking at him, there's no 110 at the gas station. So, where you got to get it at? At we'll the track? The track yeah. There you go. It's about $9 a gallon. No yeah. How many gallons will you go through tonight? Probably 10. 100 bucks. $100, just for the gas. That's the 13-year-old daughter.
We'll be right back.